Angie Aquino, a grade 5 student of PUNP Tayo. And today, I, will, I am going to discuss the difference between physical and chemical change. This is my project in science under Miss Ellie Aragon. But, before I discuss the difference between physical and chemical change, let us recap in the three types of matter. Matter is everything around us. It has mass and takes up space. There are three types of matter. Solid, liquid, and gas. Solid have a fixed shape. Liquid flow and takes the shape of a container. Gas is made up of air. Now, let us differentiate the physical change between chemical change. First, what is meant by physical change? It is a change in the shape of matter without any change in its structure. So this means that by a way or another, the change matter can be returned to its original shape. One example of physical change is the ice. Ice, when melted, will turn to water. The substance is Still a water. Another example is the crumpled paper because the substance is still a paper. One more example is the melted chocolate and boiling water is still an example of physical change. Therefore, the ice crumpled paper, the melted chocolate, and the boiling water are examples of physical change. The process of physical changes can be melting, freezing, boiling, and evaporation. Note that boiling and evaporation is also called vaporation. Another process of the physical changes are condensation, sublimation, dissolving, making mixture, changing the shape of the substance, magnetism, and crystallization. These, these are the process of physical change. Now, the second is chemical change. What is chemical change? Chemical change is a change in shape or structure of a substance giving a new substance and new properties. Meaning, the new substance cannot be returned back to its original structure. An example of chemical change are burning papers, cooking eggs, and burning of sugar. Overall, physical change or reversible change changes the physical appearance of the substance, how a substance looks or feels. Physical change may change the state of matter 
solid, liquid, and gas. Physical change does not change the amount of matter of the substance, but it can be separated or divided into some parts. Well, chemical change or reversible change gives new substance with new properties and cannot turn to its original structure. This ends my discussion between physical and I chemical change that you can already differentiate physical and chemical change. Thank you for watching my video report.